Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and another art journal tutorial. This one's called Start Where You Are, Use What You Have, Do What You Can. And here's a close up of the happy page. We're in for quite a journey. So I'm starting on a, I believe the, the page is gessoed and I've taped off the coils so I don't get um, the gunk into the coils. And I think I had a hair there or something. And I had a vision, I wanted to do a pink with gold page. And I have some gold on that sponge and I'm just putting the pink on there. I'm not too worried about making it smooth because I want those differences. I was gonna put some deli paper on there and I chose not to, but okay, now I'm gonna do some stenciling. I've left this in. None of this, or very little of this right now, is going to be seen in a bit. But I think I might actually do this again with different colors because I like the effect. This stencil is called Ethereal, and it has this wonderful text on here that looks great in a background. So I'm just putting that right across the bottom in a darker pink so it's very very light and i love 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 that effect and which is why i kept it in because i'm kind of doing tone on tone this one's called petal lush petal and again i love this on the background the swirls the the motion of it and I'm filling this in, and you're gonna see some of that text peeking through, you're gonna see some of this pattern, and those are the elements that I liked. But I was really struggling with just the pink. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna grab some more stencils, add a little bit more contrast. Maybe that's what I'm struggling with. So I'm, I picked a darker pink and another stencil and I'm adding it. And this is adding some interest and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it, but it's still very monotone. It's still all in that same colors, color family. And I guess it's just simply not what I'm used to. Because as I'm looking at it now, again, I rather like it. It's just I didn't know what to do with it. So I grabbed this stencil, it's called Maidenhead Fern, and I love this stencil, and I decide to add another color. Forget my plan to do pink, I'm gonna add this color. And I start adding this a little bit, and I end up pretty much covering the whole page with this motif. Instead of putting it in a few spaces, I just got, I just kept doing everything over the whole thing, which wasn't where I wanted to go. And it was at this point that I thought, you know, since I'm already there, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna add lots of layers, lots of pattern here, and I am going to do the negative painting technique. And that's a great technique when you have a very busy, background. It's also one of my favorite techniques, but I love how that turquoise works with the pink and the white. I love that color combination and I'm excited about where this is going to go. But I decided I wasn't done yet. So I grab this stencil, which I love, and I'm putting some white on there. I did some in the uh, dark blue to build contrast. And now I'm coming in with the white and oh, I'm happy. I love, love, love the background. And I decide, you know, I'm going to do the negative painting. So I was like, what shape am I going to do? And I picked this flower stencil. And I'm using my Inktense pencil in a dark indigo. And I'm tracing around that and overlapping. And then deciding which petal, which flower is going to overlap which flower. And I get rid of the one that I, the lines that I don't want. And that's what you saw me doing with the baby wipe. 
a lot of this, there's a lot of repetition, a lot of me doing the float technique, doing a lot of shading. I did not film all of that because it's not exactly exciting to see. So now I'm activating the Inktense pencil and putting on some um, Prussian blue with the floating acrylic technique. I'm shading it. I want to make these flowers pop. Now the Inktense pencil, if you're not familiar with them, they are ink, not watercolor, but they act like watercolor in that they are activated by water. The big difference is when they dry, when they're fully activated and they're dry, they are permanent, whereas watercolor is not. So the ink tense pencils should not reactivate, and they definitely don't to the extent of watercolor or other water activated medium. And you know, I love my permanent one, permanent uh, acrylics that don't move afterwards. And then I do not have to worry about what I'm doing in future layers because it's not going to start moving again. So I'm loving the look of this blue in there. It's giving it some dimension. It's making it pop. It's, you know, field of flowers. I do have a video where I am explicitly teaching the floating acrylic technique. If when you're in my group or you're in my, on my YouTube channel, in the search bar, you can search my channel and just put in floating acrylic and you will get that technique video and you can watch it and learn how to do this technique. It is a great technique. So, I decided I wanted to paint out the negative space. So I'm using that same turquoise before. I'm mixing it with a little bit of gesso and I'm painting out the background. I use, when I do this, I typically use an angle brush. I just find the angle brush gets around all the shapes and gets into the little nooks and crannies a whole lot easier. As always, a the list of supplies that I've used, especially specialized ones, names of stencils, can be found in the description box below. So check that out if you're looking for it. Now the turquoise paint is not completely opaque, even with the addition of gesso, and you do see some of that pattern peeking through here and there. And I love that look. If I wanted more of the pattern in, I would not have added the gesso because that made it more opaque and blocked off a lot more. So now I'm doing a little more shading on the outside of the flowers now that I have the background. I think I come in afterwards, I, I've used the Prussian blue, I think I come in afterwards with Payne's Gray, which is a blue-toned gray, but it's darker than the Prussian blue. But I'm not sure if I caught all of that on the camera. Like I said, it's me doing the same thing. So it, I spent a considerable amount of time doing it, but that's my happy place. That's my zen. I get into it and I could just do that for hours.
Have you tried the negative painting technique? If you do, give me a comment below. Then I'm using white, and I'm still using the floating te acrylic technique, but I'm going on the inside to provide highlights. And I do that throughout all of the flowers. So while the background didn't take any time to get done, all these little finishing ones, that's where the time was spent on this page. I wanted a little bit more contrast, so I grab my fine line bottle, and I love these. I have in this bottle, it is my Liquitex Basics medium body paint and water. And this one I think is a little bit more fluid than I usually like it. And I should have stopped and added more white, but I didn't. I was in the, in the flow of creativity. And I like how this is giving white, uh, a nice white fresh border to everything. I'm not necessarily trying to be so perfect, Newsflash, you're not going to be, so kind of get that scribbly effect. Embrace it. And then I'm taking my Secura Glaze Black and I'm outlining it. Now the Secura Glaze, if you're not familiar with it, it is permanent when it's dry, which I love. It is dimensional and it is shiny or glossy. And it goes on smooth as silk. This one I have used and I've used up every little last bit. It works from beginning to end, gives a nice bold. It's just so easy to use. Once I discovered these, I went and I ordered multiple packages from Amazon. But it's just a nice, it's a very nice, bold black color. I usually don't outline it, but, you know, again, my word of the year was to challenge and to do things that I don't normally do, try new techniques, uh, see how it goes. I'm outlining it in black as well. Got black somewhere, you need it somewhere else. And every little last bit of that finishing builds to the final look of this page. I grabbed a stencil here and I just put the dots in the middle and I glued the sentiment on one of the flowers. So grab, look at your stencils, find a little bit of a motif and use it in an, a different way. These were sentiments that I had in my stash that I printed out eons ago. It says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And that's my advice to you with art journaling. Don't worry about what you don't have. Start. Use what you have and do what you can. And you will improve and grow and change. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to Instagram and become a follower.